The bombing of Japan effectively brought the Second World War to an end. Japan's surrender came with great casualties after the country suffered two nuclear blasts from US missiles on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. But how powerful exactly were these missiles and just how much destruction did they cause to Japan's mega cities? Stick around as we bring you the details of this and more in today's video. Do good by giving this video a like and hitting that subscribe button. Do leave us a comment as well as we'd love to read your opinions on the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombings. Ready? Let's dive in. During the Second World War, an American bomber dropped the world's first atomic bomb over the city of Hiroshima, Japan, on the 6th of August 1945. The explosion claimed the lives of over 80,000 people, and thousands more died later due to nuclear radiation. Another nuclear bomb was dropped by an American B-29 bomber three days later in Nagasaki, which was estimated to have killed over 40,000 people. This incident prompted Japan's emperor at the time to declare his country's unconditional surrender to the United States of America on August 15th, marking the end of the Second World War. In 1939, a group of American scientists who were refugees from fascist regimes in Europe grew concerned over nuclear weapons research that was being conducted by Nazi Germany at the time. The United States, in its bid to counter the Germans, began funding its atomic weapon research and development in 1940. The program came under the responsibility of the Office of Scientific Research and the War Department of the United States. The United States Army Corps of Engineers was burdened with the responsibility of spearheading the construction of the facilities and resources needed for the top secret program, which was codenamed the Manhattan Project. Over the next few years, the project scientists and engineers produced the key materials required for nuclear fission, majorly uranium-235 and plutonium-239. These materials were then transported to Los Alamos in New Mexico, where a team led by Robert Oppenheimer worked on transforming them into a weapon capable of mass destruction. On the 16th of July 1945, the Manhattan Project tested its first atomic bomb, a plutonium device at the Trinity test site in Almogordo, New Mexico. The Allied forces had already defeated Germany at the time, but Japan, which was in coalition with Germany, continued its attack even when it had no chance of winning against the Allied forces. In April 1945, the Japanese would prove more deadly to the Allied forces after launching an attack that resulted in the highest number of Allied casualties since the start of the Second World War. The Allied forces then put forth the Potsdam Declaration, which demanded that the Japanese forces surrender unconditionally, or they bear the risk of facing prompt and utter destruction if they refused. The Japanese rejected these demands and continued their battle operations against the Allied forces. The US government then decided to continue its plan of using atomic bombs on Japan. To avoid further casualties to American soldiers, the US government put a planned invasion of Japan on hold and focused solely on getting the bombs ready for detonation. The bombs were seen as the only way to put a quick end to the ongoing war, given the devastating effects that it had have on Japan as was already being envisaged, and it had likewise put the US in a dominant position to chart the course of the post-war world. Hiroshima, which was a manufacturing hub for over 350,000 inhabitants and located 500 miles from the capital of Japan, was selected as a target for dropping the first atomic bomb ever made in the world. The bomb was transported from its previous location in New Mexico to the United States base on the Pacific island of Tinian. The uranium-235 bomb weighed over 9,000 pounds and was loaded aboard a modified American B-29 bomber called the Enola Gay. In the early morning of August 6th, the American aircraft dropped the atomic bomb known as Little Boy by parachute at 8.15 am and exploded 2,000 feet above the city of Hiroshima. The blast was the equivalent of 15,000 tons of TNT exploding simultaneously, and it destroyed over 5 square miles of the city. Although Little Boy did deliver catastrophic damage to the city of Hiroshima, the Japanese remained adamant and still failed to surrender. The United States responded by deploying another bomber aircraft on the 9th of August to drop a second plutonium bomb known as Fat Man over the city of Kokura. The pilot who flew from Tinian, however, experienced major weather disruptions as there were thick clouds over the city of Kokura, which was the primary target. 
The thick clouds would then drive the pilot to a secondary target, Nagasaki, where the plutonium bomb was eventually dropped at 11.02 am in the morning. Fat Man was a more powerful bomb than Little Boy as it weighed over 10,000 pounds and was engineered to produce a 22 kiloton blast. The bomb exploded and destroyed over 2.6 square miles of the city of Nagasaki. The blast radius of the Nagasaki bomb would however be smaller compared to the earlier detonation on Hiroshima, as the topography of Nagasaki was nestled in narrow valleys between mountains which limited the effect of the bomb. Nonetheless, thousands of more Japanese lives were lost. This catastrophic incident led to Japan's immediate surrender as the Japanese Emperor Hirohito announced Japan's unconditional surrender through a radio broadcast on the 15th of August 1945. The news of Japan's surrender broke out across the United States and other allied nations. On September 2nd, 1945, the formal surrender agreement was signed aboard the United States battleship Missouri anchored in Tokyo Bay. Japan incurred greater damages because of the devastating effect of the bombs on its two cities, with the bombs wiping out over 80 to 90% of the affected city's infrastructure. The exact death toll of the bombing of the two cities remains unknown. However, it is estimated that over 135,000 people died in Hiroshima and over 80,000 people died in Nagasaki as well, both from the blast impact and long-term radiation exposure. The extent of destruction witnessed in both Hiroshima and Nagasaki made it impossible to provide aid. In Hiroshima alone, over 90% of physicians and nurses were killed or injured. 42 out of 45 hospitals were rendered non-functional and over 70% of victims had combined injuries including severe burns. Most victims died without receiving any care to ease their suffering, and it was reported that some of those who entered the cities after the bombings to assist also died from excessive radiation emanating from the nuclear site. The after-effects of nuclear explosion can last for decades and span across generations. The incidence of leukemia increased noticeably among survivors of the blast six years after the bombings. A decade after the bombings, reports indicated that survivors began suffering from thyroid, breast, lung and other forms of cancers at an abnormally high rate. Pregnant women who got exposed to the bombings experienced higher rates of deaths and miscarriages, and their children when born largely developed intellectual and physical impairments. Subsequent generations of survivors continue to experience cancers related to radiation exposure even to this day and this is expected to continue throughout their lifespan.